build me an empire And it's lonely at the top But madness and greatness can both share a face And nobody will ever convince me to stop Ships on vigor of the waves are skimming Barren summits to the burden plates Each horizon is a new beginning Rise, shall to rain Far from the fjords and the ice cold currents, brave and sore of the new frontiers, songs and sagas of a fate determined, shields and spears, bows of favor or the thrill of thunder, born together for the clan and kin, clank of hammers and the crash of thunder, how with Okay, I'll admit it, I'm the most white girl viking that there is. I am in Calvin Klein yoga pants and there is a vodka soda in this drinking horn and you know what else? I'm going to plunder your fucking village. Part 2 is going to discuss the armor that I know people are really excited to hear about, and that's these fantasy armor pieces that are very barbarian-esque in style. These pieces were made by Diggers Leather. He usually sells out of the NY Ren Fair. The tassets were actually a custom order I asked Digger to create for me, since I really wanted to fill out the silhouette of the costume. The greaves were another recent addition. They are so sick. And my favorites, the shoulder pauldrons. I just loved the style of this kind of shoulder gear for so long, and ultimately it came down to me finally being drunk enough at the Ren Fair to just impulsively buy it. Hey, no good story ever started with drinking tea, right? So these bad boys just sit on the shoulders and then strap around the torso. The back is supposed to twist, but as you can see in this video, since I was putting it on alone, I actually do it backwards, so it's a bit messy back there. But hey, this is a lot easier if you have a squire. Then for gloves, I'm using a pair of shitty costume gloves, wrapped over with dyed ace bandage, and then topped with the bracers. And that completes the base look- Go!